This is Chicago's very own WGN Saturday Evening News. The school year may have just begun, but it's also time for juniors and seniors to start looking into colleges. Yeah, thanks to an effort that began decades ago, the students can receive help in deciding where they'll continue their education. WGN's Judy Wang reports. In a Southside Park District Fieldhouse, they carry on a mission that began more than 50 years ago. So what are you thinking? School-wise? Yeah. I am thinking whoever's offering the best tuition money. Do you know what you want to do? Political science. Table to table, visiting with reps from school after school. The goal here, to help young people find the resources to get to college. Uh, Northern Illinois, Northern Illinois University, that will be you know, NIU. Uh, Columbia and basically them too. The Chesterfield Community Council hosted the 16th Silas Purnell College Expo in Tule Park. More than 200 students and their parents attended. 40 colleges and universities from across the country participated. Without this type of program, some children or students may not even have the opportunity to go, you know, attend or speak to some school, you know, schools that are often stuff for students. Silas Pernella, Tuskegee Airman, was a marketing manager for the Coca-Cola Company. He would ask young people he'd meet about their plans for the future. He wanted to know, what is your plan? You just graduated from high school, what do you plan to do next? No one had any answers for him. In the 1960s, in a basement at the Dearborn Homes Housing Project, Purnell started counseling students one-on-one, -on -one, guiding them through the admissions process, helping them find scholarship money. Purnell went on to lead the college prep program at Ada S. McKinley Community Services. The first thing they would say is that we can't afford to go. We're not good enough. And he used to say to them that college is not just a viable option for a select few, but it is a viable option for anyone who chooses to pursue it. The program has helped more than 75,000 African American students go to college. We stand on his shoulders, and then we have third and fourth generations of students and families that we are now sending to school. On the South Side, Judy Wang, WGN News. Princeton University announced a new financial aid plan aimed at creating more a more socioeconomic diversity at the school. Starting next year, students from families making less than $100,000 a year will not have to pay tuition or room and board. They'll also get a $4,000 stipend. Previously, only families earning less than $65,000 received full financial aid. Without financial aid, it costs about $320,000 to attend Princeton for four years. This is expected to help a quarter of the student body.